Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today I have a special unboxing for you guys from Scuff Gaming. Now, I know a lot of people have been watching my live streams lately and there's this one distinctive thing that you always hear in my live streams and that is this Scuff controller. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's me pressing R2 right there. That's me trying to speed boost. This, this right here, I'm exposed. I play with this controller so much that I have worn it out. I'm going to give you guys a, a real, real close look up of my Scuff 4PS. This was one of the original ones before the Pro Pad. Today, I have the Scuff Infinity 4PS with the Pro Pads, the interchangeable control thumbstick area, and the pad EMR yo I can change the way my pads actually work from now and on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox this do a review and give you guys a hand cam of me playing some NBA 2k I also wanted to let you know that I have the infinity gaming bundle so in here is a lot of nice toys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox the bundle first then we're gonna hop into the controller the controller portion of this video is gonna be very lengthy, but we can open this up right here. Let's do it. They even decided to give me some special paper. <laughs> All right, so the first thing out of a box is a protective case for the scuff controller. You guys will see on the back that the L2 and R2 is extended. Now, I wonder what that's all about. We'll check that out in a second. The next thing we have out of the box is an infinity ring lock kit. You guys will see that this right here is the infinity lock. I'll take that on a moment and show you. And these are the parts that go around the thumbstick. Now, let's check this out. We have some infinity scuff precision thumbsticks. Now, they actually gave me each of all of their thumbsticks. They gave me a regular concave. They gave me the long concave. They gave me the regular domed and the long domed. Now, me personally, I'm a concave fan because I will admit in the Xbox 360 days, hey, I, I like the system. I like the party chat. I, I, I kind of like the controllers a little bit. So I've always been a fan of concave. Now, next, we have that good old gamer grip. Listen, if you one of them people that's with them sweaty palms, them sweaty palms, I'm telling you, Gamer Grip is for you, dog. Now, last but not least, out of the bundle box is a 10-foot micro USB cord. I'm definitely going to need this. <laughs> like, I'm telling you now, my son always asking me, Dad, Dad, can you help me with this? Well, guess what? Now that we got this 10-foot cord, I could literally lean back, look at his TV, and help him from here without even getting up. I'm telling you right now. All right, guys, let's get into some scuffology right now, man. So, we'll go ahead and take that off. Oh, they got the nice little symbol on the box. Pretty cool. Go ahead and spin that around for you guys. All right. Um, The first thing you're going to need is definitely the product guide. Um, Look at them. Always got their social medias on stuff, man, all the time. All right. So, they have a little thank you card here. It says, I would like to personally thank you for your purchase. At Scuff, we pride ourselves on creating and designing the most innovative and cool looking equipment to help you improve your game. It says, please be sure to check out some of our new innovations and designs at scuffgaming.com. As a gesture of our appreciation for being a loyal customer, please use the code IKC to receive a 5% off on your next purchase. Oh, oh, look at that. They gave me a little, oh, so nice. Give me a little sticker, yeah. Okay, guys, straight out of the box, you have the Scuff Infinity 4PS. This thing is looking sick. I want to get closer. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to break anything, but let me give you guys a 180 look at it from the back. Look at that, man. Pro Paddles. With the grip right here. Look at this, man. It's military grade grip. Look at that. And look at these extenders for the R2 and L2. Can anybody say shooter? I'm a shooter, baby. I'm going to be using these things like crazy. Now, just for a little test, I'm going to see how long I can do this without breaking it. And it looks like it's holding up. I thought that these little extenders would have a problem with me spamming on them but everything seems to be in order but uh let me play with this controller a little bit pause 
You know what I'm saying? But we're going we gonna, to we gonna mess around with this a little bit, man. Um, by the time the end of this video is over, I'm going to fully mod this controller out without even leaving this seat. This little key right here is for me to manipulate the hair trigger system. Now, the hair trigger system is the R2 and L2. Now, I'm going to show you guys that in a moment. You know, I'm going to leave that bad boy right there. We also have, if you're not into the extended uh, triggers, they have the regular triggers. And mine are red, so they gave me red. And right here, we have the lock key that I told you guys I was going to show you about. This is to take off the thumbsticks and the thumbstick interchangeable joints. Now, the next thing that we have is the EMR. Now, this is the remapping for my paddles. It's just a little magnet joint that locks onto the back of your controller when you turn it on. And all the syncing instructions and everything like that are right here. Scuff Gaming does not accept any responsibility for damage caused by the improper handling of an EMR key. It says it right there. So if you're a noob, don't mess with it. If you order it a certain way and you're not into changing things and you don't know what you're doing, don't touch it. Then your mama have to tell you not to touch this buff. First thing, R2 and L2 are clip-ons, okay? You can take them off here. Let me go ahead and pull them off. See that? The extendo is on. Now, before I put on another hair trigger, so basically what we have here is the sweet spot in between your controller now right here you can put this in and you can tune it you can tune it to how much give it has as well as the sweet spot between how far you want your r2 to go down now look at that i'm having problems finding the hole so right here right you can turn your r2 a certain way so right now if i press it the r2 doesn't go down that far if i turn it again you can take it out and press it fully down and if I put it back in and turn it back this is how it came standard all right it goes about halfway down but what I am going to do is I'm going to put on the R2 and L2 short versions to show you guys what those look like when they're snapped on so one is snapped on one is not the next thing I'm going to play with is the thumbsticks this right here was pretty funny for me because when I tried this before I start shooting the video, I thought I broke the controller, but you don't end up breaking it. Now, what you need is the lock key joint gimmick that came with it. Now, what you're going to do is put the lock key in, right? Now, when you want to take it off, you always have to turn to your left, all right? When you want to lock it, you turn to your right. If you guys heard that snap, it turned. Now, Turn to my left. Now, it's unlocked, but that doesn't mean that it comes out, okay? It doesn't come out just because it's unlocked. You actually have to pull the thumbstick up, okay? So let me go ahead and pull the thumbstick up. All right, so now what you're looking at is the guts of the thumbstick right now. These are the guts, all right? So what you guys will see here is I have the it looks like the long concave all right remember i told you guys i was a big fan of the concave and this is a red ring now let me show you guys what a different thumbstick with a different ring would look like when you're putting the thumbstick on make sure you're always lining up the scuff symbol right there i don't know if you guys can see it in the middle of the uh, thumbstick but it's just a small scuff symbol make sure it's always lined up and when you put the thumbstick on you just want to press on it down let me see we find a sweet spot come on go in all right now press down you have to put a little bit of pressure on it if i were you i would lay the controller on the desk or you could squeeze it like this and press it down with the center of your finger then all you got to do is put the ring on like so all right now I need my lock and key gimmick. All right, so I got my, my lock key for the thumbstick. Remember, like I said, it's not even locked yet, and it won't come off, So, but you still have to lock it in place, all right? You know what I'm saying? Don't just be playing with your joints all unlocked, all right? Make sure you lock the door when you come in the house. You hear me? All right, so all I got to do now is turn it to the right, and it's locked in. 
so right now I have a long domed and a long concave thumbstick. I have interchangeable set rings. One is black, one is red. And I even have red R2 L2 and black L1 R1, man. Yo, the crazy thing is, and oh, you can't forget about this. You can also take off the disc that comes on your D-pad. You don't have to have the disc on the d-pad you can you can take it off everything is interchangeable this is insane but you know me man I, i've been a fan of these controllers for a while man now i know a lot of people probably gonna say hey is this a modded controller that's probably like the biggest question i always get i don't i wouldn't say that this is a modded controller i would say that this controller is more made for professional gaming such as shooters uh and some would even say 2k in some instances because with this controller you have the grip where your hands rarely stick you have the paddle so say for instance you're one of those people that like to go for alley-oops right and you know the way 2k changed their new system you want to use this to double tap for you know nice little alley-oops or if you want to make triangle and circle you could do bounce passes flashy passes you can do alley-oops. You can do whatever you want because you can control the paddle system with the EMR key. All right, so I told you guys I would show you some gameplay with this. It's not going to be long, but I'm going to show you guys what the paddles do after I remap them. All right, you guys, I told you I was going to give you guys some gameplay with a remap controller. Now, you guys see that the controller is lit. It is ready. It's paired up. Now, I remapped it for circle and X. I didn't want to put triangle because I knew you guys are probably going to be like, oh, all you doing is cheesy alley-oop. So we're going to go ahead and double tap. You see it right there was a nice little bounce pass. I got to do it faster for a flashy pass, but I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to double tap like that. And you guys see I double tapped and my dude fell. So uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get, give you guys a nice little hand cam here. Okay. All right. Now, one hand. X. All right, all right. Now let me see if I can throw a flashy pass. Flashy pass. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys. This is your boy IKC signing out. If you go to scuffgaming.com and you want to pick up one of these Infinity 4 PS controllers or even an Infinity Xbox Edition, make sure you use the code IKC for five percent off, man. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace. Some dudes win, a few dudes lose. Nobody want to be a fan anymore. Niggas get too cool. Get it? Jump in the books like the Blues Clues do. Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views. I'm trying to make a difference. Niggas savage like there ain't no jail. You killed her son, she know who did it. Think she ain't gonna tell? And that's murder, so there ain't no bail.